every time you come to the ballpark, what is the hope? To make one good picture. If I just make one, I'm good for the day. Everything else is extra. It's a challenge. I feel like photographers are, are just like athletes in a way that, you know, you gotta kinda bring it every day or you're gonna fall by the wayside. My name is Reginald Thomas. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, and I'm a um, photographer for the Boston Red Sox. I started when I was 19 years old. I taught myself how to take pictures like by watching YouTube, and as the years progressed, I got a little bit better. I started to reach out to people to learn more, and you know, just kept, kept at it, you know, didn't give up. It's about the action, so, you know, I could be waiting all game, but that's why you wait and see. It's a small ballpark. It's the oldest ballpark. My first day, I kind of felt it. I felt why it was so important. You see the facade when you walk in, and it's like you're here, you know. You know, it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of people that love baseball and the Red Sox, especially being here every day. Like, how do you have um, fresh perspectives when you in, in one ballpark all season? Obviously, I make images that I like, but I want to photograph things that other people enjoy as well and do it at a high level. I usually carry around a 24 to 70 and a 70 to 200. In terms of the workflow, it's just about obviously making sure all the technical aspects of the shot are good, but also being able to file it quickly. You want all those images to be up for fans and outlets and whoever else wants to see it as quick as possible. And as far as storytelling goes, I like just finding very intimate moments that you kind of wouldn't get just watching the game. The closer I can get to um, who I'm photographing the better. That, that's, that goes for fans, you know, anybody. It just puts you in the moment with whoever you're photographing. A lot of times, you know, you might get that, that one moment, that one interaction where everybody left and you're still there. And that's kind of what I try to do. I'm kind of here for a reason. You got like, do your job. Like, you know, and try to be the best at, at what you're doing. It requires a lot of sacrifice and hard work, but you know, it's, it's a decision you gotta make. If you do make that decision through cultivating your craft and being good to people, I think it can happen for you. I'm 24. On my 30th birthday, hopefully, I'm at a World Series or NBA Finals somewhere, you know, on assignment.